Many times we think about the value of personal items only after disaster strikes. However, according to the International Society of Appraisers, there are many reasons why we may need accurate appraisal values. To explain why this is important is Elodie Carden, personal property appraiser with Carden Appraisals and Estate Sales. Elodie, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Well, what is a personal property appraisal? Let's yes. just start, start Let's at the beginning. Let's start with the beginning. It is a professional valuation of antiques, fine art, or any residential contents you might have, such as just regular furniture or furs, jewelry, that kind of items, anything that is we can touch. Well, we mentioned that um, there's lots of different reasons yes. primarily around here. Everybody thinks about, okay, for hurricanes, I need to have a list of everything I have, mm -hmm. but there's also other things. Tell us about some of these other situations where it might be good to have that value. It can also be when somebody is moving. We don't often think the damage can occur through a move. If you That's have right. your appraisal, then you can claim your insurance. Also for charitable donation, if you donate an item, for example, to the museum, a piece of art with uh, worth over $5,000, you can claim it on your IRS tax form and you need a formal appraisal. It can also be um, for estate taxes, often families want equitable uh, distribution among the children. Um, uh, less uh, exciting is for divorce so the couple can split their assets uh, equally and also a bankruptcy so the court will know what is the personal property worth. Now I've read that sometimes the the value is different depending on the situation that the appraisal is needed for. That Explain is, a little bit about that. That is correct. Uh, let's say for example you're going to insure an item so we're going to give you a replacement value. It's not going to be the exact same value as if you want to sell that item today. And uh, a qualified appraisal will know to guide you on which value to use depends on what is the purpose of your appraisal. So if it's for commercial resale, obviously it would be different than replacement. But what about the uh, for taxes and, and divorce and those kind of things? Is uh, What kind of value is, is determined? Uh, we use uh, for, the f for the donation, we would use a market value. Uh, for a divorce or an estate would give also market value. So re replacement is mostly for the insurance or when there's a loss who occurs. Okay. Now what about if someone is donating something less than $5,000? There's still some documentation for the IRS. Yeah, correct? you should still get an appraisal, yes. Okay. You can claim it on your tax. Well, what about sentimental value? Does that factor in anywhere? Well, people like to think it does. Unfortunately, we have to look at what the market is and what the item is selling for, look at auction records, uh, retail prices, and, and go from there. Sometimes we love a piece and it's not worth anything, and the piece we didn't expect to be worth anything might be the treasure. So, mm -hmm. Well now, so someone would bring an item to an appraiser, and I understand an appraisal report is issued. Tell us a little bit about what's contained in that report, if you don't mind, Yes, please. yes. In an appraisal report, you should have a cover uh, page. It will explain uh, how did you do your research and which market value did you pick. Uh, it should also include the date and the location of the appraisal. It should uh, have the appraisal signature. In the body of the appraisal, it, it's going to include all the description who need to be so clear that you can identify the item without a picture. But usually we put pictures with it just in case. And then the qualification of the appraiser and make sure um, that's it, I think. That's so how are, what are, how are fees decided upon? Okay. How does that work? Fees are decided upon uh, your education and also the location where you practice. Uh, in bigger city, it commands bigger hourly fee. Usually it's either an hourly fee, a per item fee, or maybe an assignment fee for the whole content of that house, you will give a flat fee. Okay. Well, what are some questions that someone should ask when selecting an appraiser to make sure that, that they've got the right fit there? Well, the first thing you should ask is, are you qualified to appraise my personal property? So by questioning uh, the appraiser on what you have, they will be able to tell you yes or no. Uh, if you're not sure, you can request their qualification 
uh, their professional background and you will be able to see what, what they specialize in. Well, I noticed some credentials behind your name and the, and the yes. super's there. Tell us a little bit about what type of accreditation or certification is available to appraisal so that people can watch out for that and yes. be aware. Yes. The certification is not a state by state. It's a nationwide uh, certification. International of Society of Appraiser, uh, you can become at a, the basic level just a, an affiliate by paying the dues. Then within three years, if you'd like, you can pass a course and by showing your appraising hour, you can move to a member. And then the next level, which is accredited member, you get uh, retested every five years on a big exam and you need to show continuation education every year and so many hours of appraisal. Okay. And so if someone is dealing with somebody who maybe hasn't gone through that process, what are some red flags people should look out for when maybe just someone offers to appraise their, their, their things? You gotta make sure, uh, a lot of people have knowledge in antiques and fine art but do not have an education in writing appraisal reports and that can become a little tricky, especially with insurance or attorneys. You know, you, you really wanna pick somebody who belongs to uh, an association and also make sure uh, that uh, you're not asked uh, to pay a fee upon the value of the item uh, when you're compensating the appraiser make sure it is an hourly fee or a flat rate not upon the value um, okay well how can someone find an appraiser uh, I would recommend uh, the internet, of course, is a great source, but not everybody has the internet. If you do have the internet, uh, looking the International Society of Appraiser, then you can scroll by in your area, or the American Society of Appraiser based in New York is very good as well. And the other great place to ask is your friends. Have you ever had your items appraised? Who can you recommend? And also, uh, we're available on 9th Avenue in Larua, and you can reach us at 433-6427. Great, well we've been showing that on the screen, and um, and your information is also in the fall issue of Coming thank of Age you. Magazine, thank and we you. appreciate you being in there. Thank and thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate mm -hmm. it.